Here's sophomore cornerback Anthony Richard Jr. coming off the bye week. Northwestern State getting ready to host Eastern Illinois on Saturday. And Anthony, uh, first of all, what what does a college football player do on an open weekend? We know you know Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursdays still kind of a regular week, but Friday Saturday is a little different. Yeah, so uh, on the Friday I actually went home to Lafayette, Louisiana. That's where I'm from. Uh, I hung out with a couple friends, family members, and then on Saturday I actually got to see my uh, my friend Sage Ryan play for LSU football. So that was a good time, and then I just came back on Sunday. So you now you're ready to jump back into it. What did the bye week do for for you guys as a team? You know, just overall. Uh, I think it got guys heads on. Um, let everybody refresh. Um, got us away from each other. Some so much time spent together can sometimes be detrimental to uh, a team but we all love each other it's good to be back um and yeah when you hit that reset button i mean was there something you know personally you took from this week to, to look back and maybe reset or erase or move forward with um yeah everything that happens uh after the games and after our weeks we try to put it behind i try to put it behind um, mess ups, the good, the bad. I try not to get too high or too low. Just make sure that I move on to the next task at hand. Uh, that's pretty much it. You mentioned Sage Ryan. You come from a program that, that has its share of guys who go all over the place to call, play college football. Yes, uh, your college football uh, journey started at Harding, yes, which sir. is a Division II school. Uh, when you hit the transfer portal, was there, a, was there a goal in mind to end up a certain place or a certain level? Um, no, sir. No, sir. There was no goal. There was no um, expectations. I really just gave it to God, hoping that he would provide a way, and he did. I ended up in a great spot um, that worked out perfectly for me. So when, when you go in the portal at a, at a Division II school and the chance to move up, did that intrigue you? I mean, the, chance, the opportunity to move up, did that intrigue you? Was that on your mind? Yeah, yeah. I always uh, believed that I was a good enough player to be at D1. Um, I just wasn't out of high school. COVID kind of did some things for me to where I just wasn't provided with that opportunity. Um, but I knew after the last year that I was at my school in Arkansas Harding, I knew I wanted to get out, potentially go higher. And whenever Coach Locke was here, he gave me the opportunity to come and I took advantage of it. Lafayette Christian has been good to this Northwestern State program. How many guys did you talk to uh, to get a feel for the program? Uh, quite a few. I, I talked to our Previous quarterback, Zach Clement. I talked to Prince Marlboro. Uh, I talked to Dane. I grew up with him. He's like a brother to me. Um, and he, he advised me to come here that a, that a change was in the works and the culture was changing and we were on the right, we were on the right um, path to get in this team where it needs to be and I wanted to be a part of it. So when you go in the portal, is it kind of making a bet on yourself? Definitely. Definitely. You, that's, that's exactly what it is. You have to bet on yourself. Because um, if you don't believe in you, who else is going to believe in you? So that's exactly what it was. How does that relate to playing cornerback, that confidence? Oh, you, you, have, to, you have to be a dog. Coach, Coach P, Coach Perry, uh, he talks about it all the time. You have to have that confidence to be out there, that swagger, that mentality of that, that you're the best, that you deserve to be out on that field. Because we play a lot of man over here. So if you, if you don't have the chops, then you're not, you're not going to cut it. I think, does that run counter to your personality off the field? You seem like you're, you're kind of quiet and laid back, but, I mean, you're not, you're not Dion or some of those guys necessarily on the field from a, from a, a talking standpoint. But yeah, yeah. from a confidence standpoint, does it shift when you, when you hit that white line? Definitely, definitely. I try to, I try to stay mellow, um, like low-key, off the field. Um, but whenever I get on the field, it just, it just flips a switch. Uh, I don't know, it's not like an alter ego, but it's kind of just like that confidence that you have to play with um, to make sure that you're on the top of your game. You mentioned Dane Wallace. Uh, that's a guy who's worked and worked and worked to get to where he is. Yeah. Uh, did you see that, you know, did you guys go against each other in high school? Is that how the bond was formed? <laughs> yeah, so um, me and Dane, our, our mom and our mom were actually uh, best friends whenever uh, we were three years old and we ended up going to the same school and we were raised with each other. So that's, that's basically like my brother. But yeah, at LCA, we, we always help get each other better. I still remember the workouts that we used to do in the city, um, just going one-on-one, -on -one, back to back to back, just making sure we were at the top of our game. Um, so yeah, he's played a big part into where I am now. Who's faster? Oh, me, for sure. <laughs> me, I'm taking it. In what ways did he make you better? Um, my technique. 
my technique, Dane, is really shifty. He's a um, he's a shorter guy, speed. He uh, he just made sure I was always precise when it came to those first couple steps coming off the ball. And then mentally, uh, he was just always there, um, giving me confidence, uh, speaking life into me, just being being a brother, basically. How much did he and some of those other familiar faces help your transition to here? Um, very much, very much. They they did a lot for me. Uh, Dane made sure I was comfortable, checked in on me often. Uh, me and Zach talked pretty often too. He was checking in. Uh, Prince is my cousin, so we we talk pretty often too. They were all just they were all great. Anthony, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.